Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Baby Step series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about helpful things that you can say to your friends or family that you know are struggling with infertility. The main thing to really keep in mind is just to show them that you care. Because sometimes just knowing that someone is there for you can be the most helpful thing you can do. To show them that you care, you can ask them things like, how are you feeling today? Or say, I'm here if you need me. Or it's okay if you don't want to talk about it. Another thing you can do is do some research. Learn more about what infertility is and what it can do to people that are struggling with it. And that way you can be better prepared to help talk to them about it when they need you. Try and show interest and genuinely listen when they're talking to you about their struggles. It can often be very difficult for people struggling with infertility to talk about the things that they are going through and usually it's really easy to tell if the things that we're saying or talking about is making you uncomfortable or if you just don't care. Another helpful thing to ask is saying what do you need from me or what can I do for you because this shows someone that not only do you care but you want to try and do something to help ease their pain. One really important thing to do is to just support their decisions whether that be undergoing fertility treatments, choosing to adopt, using a surrogate or a sperm donor, etc. rather than trying to talk them out of it or suggest alternatives. And this includes being supportive to those who have decided to stop trying altogether. Try and reach out to your friends that are struggling on Mother's Day and Father's Day because those can often be very difficult days for people struggling with infertility. Another helpful thing you could do for those that are going through this struggle alone or don't have that support system in place is you could even offer to go with them to appointments and be that support person for them if that's something that you're comfortable with. Some other helpful things to say include, I can't imagine what you're going through, or I'm so sorry that you're going through this, what can I do to help, or I'll make sure to keep you in my thoughts. Or if someone is confiding to you in the things that they're struggling with, make sure that you're validating their feelings. For example, saying, wow, that sounds so frustrating. And other things that can only really be taken in a positive way are, I truly believe it will happen for you and you deserve this, you deserve a family. So the overarching theme to a lot of these is basically to keep the focus on them and what they are struggling with, validate their feelings, and take yourself out of the equation a little bit. Try and put yourself in their shoes. Don't try to fix the situation or offer alternatives because as I mentioned in a previous video, a lot of those things are just not taken well and end up not being very helpful in the long run. And one of the most important things too is to just check in with your friends that you know that are struggling. Ask them how they're doing, not even related to fertility. Just make small talk with them, make sure that they know that you're there. And that's all there really is to it. This is a bit of a shorter video, but thanks so much for watching and I hope you come back to watch future Baby Steps videos. Bye!